What's up, Internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film, bringing a tutorial on DaVinci Resolve and how to round trip from Resolve to your editor back to Resolve. This technique is very awesome if you are, you know, if you don't have a great computer like I do. So essentially, we will basically be proxying our footage from DaVinci Resolve, editing our footage in your editor, and then bringing the footage back to Resolve for the final color grade. So in this video, I'm going to show you how that entire process works. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start from the beginning. You import your footage, everything, everything you want. Import all your footage, depends on whatever you want to use. Just take everything. All right, then you go to click edit. You know, add your footage to the timeline. It's up to you if you want to do any pre-color grading. So just click color. For my footage, I like to have all my footage flat when I'm editing. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I'm under camera raw, go to decode using clip and color space to BMD film. And that will make my first clip BMD film. So I want this to be applied to every single clip here. So what I'll do is I'll select all the clips that we have imported on this sequence by shift clicking the last clip. And then I'll click this check mark right here, apply settings to all selected clips. And once I click that, if I click on the next shot, that will be completely flat in BND film. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and export our footage. So I'm going to click deliver. Here we are in the exporting window of DaVinci. And all these settings, you know, pay attention to these settings because one thing can mess up the entire process. So first things first, um, you can click easy setup and you can do final cut XML round trip. Um, or if you want to do it manually, I'll just show you how to do that real fast. Make sure individual source clips are selected. Um, this is more of a personal preference, but what I usually do is I go codec is uh, ProRes proxy. All right, and then I make sure, you know, it's 1920 by 1080. If you shot, usually when I shoot, you know, in 2.5K, I still do 1920 by 1080 to keep the file size down. Frame rate, keep that same, keep that the same. Uh, render audio, select that. Um, Make sure you click your output, you know, just browse to, you know, your desktop or wherever you want to save your files and click OK. Um, use source file name. Make sure that's clicked. Um, render each uh, clip with a unique file name. Deselect that. And then once you're done, you click Add Job to Render Queue and click Start Render. Once your footage is done being proxied, you can jump over to your editor and start editing. In this case, I'm using Adobe Premiere to do my edits. So once you're in your editor, import your proxy footage, and then you can begin editing. So just basically you get to edit your video exactly how you would edit, you know, all your other stuff if you were using, you know, your normal process. So in this case, I already have a edited sequence. You know, I just went ahead and edited like normal. Just like this was my final footage, I went ahead and did all my, all my edits. So once you're done editing, you know, you can connect your audio, you can do everything you need to do in your editor. But once you're done and ready to start color grading, all you have to do is create an XML. In Premiere, I'll be able to show this to you in Final Cut Pro or any other editor that you're using. Um, you might need to do a quick search up. But in Premiere, this is how you do it. You go to File, Export, Final Cut Pro, XML. And just... Save it, you know, um, save it as anything, title it anything, and click save. And this little box will come up, it'll take about like a minute or so, maybe 30 seconds. And once you got your XML, you're done. Okay, let's jump back over to DaVinci Resolve and do our color grading. Once you're back in DaVinci and ready to import your XML, go up to File, Import AFF EDL XML. Click that. All right, then navigate to your XML and click Open. So this window pops up, and just uncheck Automatically Import Source Clips into Media Pool. Um, and also, make sure you set your timeline resolution to whatever your true raw footage was set onto. So in my case, it was set to 2400 by 1350. And then I'm going to click OK. If you added any elements inside your uh, editing program, they will be offline inside of DaVinci Resolve unless you import them into your media pool. But, but in this case, you know, that's okay. You, we just need the footage. So I'm just going to click close. And here we are with my edited sequence. Next, go to the color tab in DaVinci Resolve. And now you can begin to manually color correct in each clip that you have inside your sequence. 
Now you can begin color correcting each of your clips. I've already made a tutorial on how to color correct in DaVinci Resolve, so if you want, you can watch that previous video by uh, looking at the link in the description or click on your screen now and it'll open up another tab. So once you're done color correcting all your clips, go to the Deliver tab. We'll begin by setting all of our settings. So make sure individual source clips are selected. Go ahead and choose the codec of your choice. In my case, I'm going to do ProRes 422. Uh, make sure it's 2400 by 1350 or your preferred uh, resolution. Uh, make sure your frame rate is set. Render audio would be optional since we're just going to go ahead and drop the footage back into uh, your editor. Make sure you render your job out. This next part is very important, so listen closely. If use source file name is checked, make sure render each clip of a unique file name is also checked. So um, you'll run into errors if that doesn't happen. For example, if you have two edits of the same clip in your timeline, it's only going to render one version of that shot. So in this case, it'll render each shot how you have it edited in your uh, program. So once that's checked, make sure all those settings are correct. And of course, make sure, you know, force sizing the highest quality and force the Bayer res to highest quality is checked. And then before you click add job to render queue, come over here and make sure you mark your in and out points. So you can click mark in at your first clip and then make sure, you know, sometimes in my case, this is not always checked. So make sure you click mark out. So it renders all the shots individually and then click add job to render queue and begin rendering. Once your footage is done being rendered, all you have to do is jump back over to your editing software, import your new footage, and all you have to do is drag the new footage on top of your original edit. And then just continue drag all your new clips on top of your original edits and you'll be done. Once you have all your footage laid out on the timeline, you are done. So that's the entire process from importing your footage into DaVinci Resolve, proxying it, editing in your editing software, bringing it back to DaVinci, color correcting, and then sending it back to your editing program for the final edit. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.